Hi, I'm Stacy Bamford with Fremont Unified School District's Student Support Services Department. Our department coordinates all of the enrollments of any new student into Fremont Unified School District. This video will talk about enrolling for the 2022-2023 school year for students who are in secondary schools. This would be students grades six through eight for our middle schools, seven through eight for our junior highs, and nine through 12 for our high schools. Some enrollment requirements. In order to enroll in Fremont, you must be living in Fremont. So that's pretty much the requirement to be able to begin this process. If you are not yet living in Fremont, but you are expecting to move to Fremont, it is okay. Just once that you are living here and you've established residence, which is spending one night in your new place, then you can complete the enrollment process. One thing to note is that in Fremont, we do place students in the age appropriate grade based on the date of birth of the student as defined by the California Department of Education. If your child is coming to us from out of country, this is how they will be placed um, in, in the correct grade level. Here's a glossary of terms that we use. Boundary areas, this is the neighborhood area assigned to any given school. Each address in Fremont is connected to a boundary area. A home school, this is the school that is assigned to that boundary area. Transfers. A transfer is when a student is not living in the place where the family wants the student to go to school. If you are moving, so let's say that you're moving from Milpitas to Fremont, that's not considered a transfer. You're just gonna do an enrollment. You don't need to do a transfer, you're just going to enroll. A transfer, um, inter-district transfer, this is when a family wants to transfer to a, a city school district that they're not living in. So maybe you live in Fremont and you want to transfer your child to, New to Union City. You would apply for an inter-district transfer starting in Fremont. Um, you would start here. We would release you from Fremont. It would then get sent over to Union City and they would accept or deny it. If you are not living in Fremont and you're living in Milpitas, you want your child to come to school in Fremont, you would start in, in Milpitas. So you'd start in the city where you're living, complete the transfer there. If they agree to release your child, then they will then send the transfer on to Fremont and we would look at it to approve or deny that. An intra-district transfer, this is when you're living in Fremont, you enroll in Fremont and you're looking to go to a different school than that home school. That's when you would apply for an intra-district transfer. There is a page on our website about transfers and it would list both of these processes and where to, to get the form from and submit it. Middle school. Middle schools are schools that serve grades six to eight. Currently Walters and Horner are the only middle schools in Fremont. We are in a conversion process to convert all of our um, junior highs to middle schools, but the construction is not complete yet on the other schools. So Centerville, Hopkins, and Thornton, they are our junior high schools, and they are serving grades seven and eight currently. Our high schools are schools that serve as students grades nine to 12. Enrollment timeline, March 1st is when we start the enrollment for the 2022-2023 school year. And this would be anyone for the secondary schools would enroll during this timeline and placement is at the home school for our secondary students. Our enrollment is ongoing. So if you're not yet living in Fremont, that's okay. Maybe you don't move here until next October. That's okay. In October, once you're living here, then you would come do the enrollment and we would get your child started at school as soon as possible. Our enrollment procedure, everything is done online. First step is to get your documents ready. Um, of the list of documents, you'll want to save them onto the device that you will be completing the application form on because you will need to upload them. We will need the student's proof of birth. So this could be a birth certificate, a passport, a baptismal certificate. We'll need student immunization records. And then we need two proofs of residence in Fremont. And these need to be dated within the last 30 to 45 days. This could be a lease or mortgage statement a utility bill, pay stub, official 
um, government mailing. DMV counts for that. And then you're going to access the online enrollment form from the district website. If you're brand new to Fremont, you don't have any students who are enrolled yet in Fremont, you would go to the new Parent Guardian online enrollment link, and this will take you to the application. If you are the parent of a current Fremont Unified School District student and you're just enrolling an additional student, you're going to go into the Parent Portal account, and from there you will go to the um, navigation bar on the left. You'll click on More, and then you'll click on Online Registration, and you will complete the application within that portal. These will be available on uh, March 1st to you. Once you submit your application, you're not done. You will get an email almost immediately from Infinite Campus confirming your submission and we'll have a, a link in there to schedule your virtual appointment. Enrollments are not finalized until you attend an appointment. We have that virtual off offering to make it convenient for families just to log in for a quick meeting. During that appointment, an enrollment technician will review your documents, ask any clarifying questions that they would need to. They're also going to need to, to see your ID to confirm that you are one of the people that they're speaking with and that you are who you are. Um, and then at the end of that meeting, they would finalize your enrollment if all of the paperwork looks good. So please make sure that you're setting that appointment. There are a few special programs in Fremont for secondary. Our immersion program, which is either Spanish or Mandarin, is available through grade eight. So if you have a um, middle school, junior high student that you're enrolling, this program is available. At this level, those students would need to already be fluent in either Spanish or Mandarin to qualify for the program. There is um, a web page in our, in our district webpage about the immersion program, and that's where you would find the application and submit the application. Irvington High School has a visual and performing arts um, magnet program. This is open to any Fremont Unified student who is interested in visual and performing arts. You can apply for this program through the Irvington website. Enrollment tips. First and foremost, make sure you're selecting the right application year. When you go in, you will see two different applications, 21-22 um, or 22-23. So if you're looking to have your child start in August of 2022, make sure that you're selecting the 22-23 application year. Likewise, when you go to schedule your online appointment, make sure you're picking the service for the 22-23 school year this will help expedite your application and get you to the correct enrollment technician. Again, enrollments are finalized when all the documents have been received and after the virtual appointment is held. So please make sure that you're scheduling that appointment. Residency in Fremont is required for enrollment. So you must currently be living here to enroll. Being in escrow or having a future lease does not establish residency. So if you're in escrow, congratulations on the new house. Once it closes and you have that final letter of closing from your escrow company, you can enroll. Or if you're uh, establishing a future lease, once you've moved in, then you can come enroll. To make things smoother, the name of the parent or guardian that appears on the proof of residency should be at the enrollment appointment. If both parents are listed, that's fine. Only one needs to come. Um, if the parent is who's listed on the documents can't come to the appointment, they would need to be on the birth certificate so that we can see the link. Um, otherwise, we would need to get them um, in the appointment as well. And that's everything for the basic overview of enrollments. I've got a couple options for you to ask questions because even if you watched this 400 times and read all the handouts, you still might have questions wanting to make sure that you got everything done correctly. You can email sss at fusdk12.net or go back to our website and look at the virtual office hours, dates and times. Come into a, a virtual office hour and um, ask your questions then. Do note, depending on when you watch this video, that the office hour dates are updated monthly. So 
Today is December 2nd. If you looked at that list, it only goes to the beginning of January when you probably haven't started looking at enrollment yet. So be patient and the dates will add on as we go through the months. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day. Bye-bye.